cicadas sing under the ever-shifting clouds on this hot summer's day. It's a season bursting with vitality. In this misty forest lives a group of warriors fighting for survival. I'm the one they call the Peter of Steel, the Taiwanese stack beetle. Check out this pair of big curvy mandibles. It's the perfect combination of power and beauty. I don't use them to chew food. They are the male stack beetle's most important weapon. Long, short, thick, thin, curved, straight. They come in all shapes and sizes. Earth's male beaters may seem nothing special while comparing size, but standing next to female beaters, our powerful mandibles really stand out. Okay, now that I've shown off my pro equipment, it's time for me to look for a feast. Hey, someone's coming. I better stay absolutely still. Wow, it's real cool, man. Hey, kid, you better leave me alone. My bite really hurts. Low to medium altitude mountains are our favorite habitats. These places have an endless supply of tasty grub. Don't think I'm a carnivore just because I look ferocious. In fact, I'm a genuine herbivore. The sap of this Bargesia plant is a favorite of mine. If I could sit here eating all day, every day, I wouldn't go anywhere else. But nothing in life comes that easily. Such juicy sap will attract others who will fight for the taste of it. This dude in the double color suit is a Neo Lucanus. Luckily, he's a weakling. I drove him off in no time. However, things get trickier when more powerful enemies come along, especially the khaki color Prosopocoelus estacoides. His fighting prowess is comparable with my own. We Taiwanese stack beetles have curved mandibles because they have a lot of pressure sensors underneath. We specialize in clamping down on our opponent's back by chance, then mercilessly tossing them aside. Check this out! <laughs> the Prosopocoelus estacoides is smaller than us but endurable. They have sensors above and below their mandibles. They tend to reach their mandibles below the opponent to clamp their legs or flip them high into the air. It's a deadly move. If you ask why we like to fight, there are three main reasons. Set, territory, and girlfriends. Nobody wants to be a loser. To get my hands on all the precious, I give it my all. Show me what you've got. Woohoo! Awesome! After an intense fight, I finally win. Now I retain my set and territory. All I have to do now is wait for my goddess to show up. That's her. My dream girl is here. But the rival has suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Looks like another battle is unavoidable. To win over my girl's heart, I have no choice but to win. Let's knock it out! Yeah! He, he, uh, uh, <laughs> it's no match for me. Check out this quickly, fleeing with his tail between his legs. Needless to say, the prince and princess will live happily ever after. We climb onto the back of the female beetle to protect her and use our antennae to softly stroke her. This is how the male beetle protects the female. Bet you didn't expect that we had genocide too. This is a vital moment in an insect's life. My wonderful genes can finally be passed on. <sighs> I'm just deluding myself. It turns out I'm not the prince of this beautiful story. No! My princess, where are you?